So I'm finishing up a surveillance when I get a call from another investigator. It's like three o'clock in the afternoon and this investigator says, hey, I need you to help me come do surveillance on this guy. The guy's at the gym and he and his personal trainer are suing for like an auto accident case. And they're both claiming injuries that are keeping them out of the gym. So he says, these guys aren't supposed to be here, but they're here at the same time. And I need a second set of eyes. He said, I just need you for about an hour, long enough for me to go in and you can keep an eye on the parking lot in case one leaves the investigator are still inside then I can follow him but what he didn't tell me was that the subject was acting like super suspicious so he thought the subject was on to him well he didn't tell me that until after I already arrived and parked well the personal trainer walks out in the opposite direction of his car and like kind of towards my car so I turn my car off so that his attention is not drawn to a running car well he ends up walking to a car that's parked like two spaces away from me so clearly he knows this fella and they just strike up a conversation in the parking lot well they're talking like forever and ever and ever and ever and like like, it's Florida. I'm dying of heat. They're kind of eyeballing the parking lot. Well, I can't turn on my car. I guess I'm freaking air because Chatty Cathy and his friend are just yammering on. Well, there I was eavesdropping, minding their business. And I hear old muscle man tell the fella in the car that him and the other fella had to cut their training session short because there's a PI in there watching them. And so the subject inside the gym is gonna outsmart the PI by walking slowly on the treadmill to make it look like it hurts real bad. Well, so of course, I'm relaying this information to the other investigator. They don't know he knows because they don't know that I know that they know. But he already kind of knew because he already told me. So like everybody knows, but not everybody knows that everybody knows. So anyways, Hulk Hogan over here is talking about how he's gonna confront the PI. Like, what are you gonna do out here in front of God and everybody? Hulk smash him? So I tell this investigator i'm like listen what do you want to do what do you want me to do i just came off a long day of surveillance i'm dying from heat stroke i done ran out of snacks hours ago typically when you get made by a subject on surveillance you leave like the jig is up it happens it's time to go home but these knuckleheads they're trying to all three play chicken with one another y'all i just wanted to go home i was dying of heat stroke and y'all i was so hungry i could have ate the leg off the holy ghost so i had this investigator on the phone i opened my car door screaming you lying son of a bitch how could you do this to me? I know you're still seeing her. I walked up into that gym all willy-nilly hollering. Walked over to the investigator. Grabbed him by the arm. Pulled him out of that gym. Yelling at him all the way across the parking lot. Y'all, those people were floored. I walked him all the way to the truck and I damn near lifted him inside myself. And I'm yelling at him. We'll talk about this at home, you cheating bastard. And the personal trainer is standing by his little buddy. Dude, that's him. That's the guy. That's the guy. That's him. And the guy in the car is like, yeah, dude, don't you feel dumb? <laughs> and I'm like pretending to cry. There's like real tears. I just wanted to get home. And so like lashing out irrationally was the way to go.